Hello, everyone, and thanks for joining this afternoon's press call on the latest developments surrounding the assault on Israel. At JPC, we are being very careful about sharing unchecked information, but at this point, it's been reported that many hundreds of people have been killed, including civilians as well as soldiers. While trying to restore the control over the area surrounding Gaza to its hands, the IDF is already planning its counterattack on Palestinian factions in an effort to neutralize the threat coming out of Gaza. Uh, to understand the current situation and possible scenarios, the Jerusalem Press Club is hosting Major General in Reserves, Israel Ziv, former head of the operations director at the IDF, former commander of the Gaza Division, and former head of the paratrooper troopers and infantry corps. And as you see, General Ziv is uh, in his uniform, which means that we've caught him at a, at a crucial time, so we won't take up too much of his time. Thank you for joining us. Welcome. Uh, I understand that you were also in the field yesterday as events began to unfold, and we see that now you're on your way again. Can you share some of your own immediate experiences with uh, those on the line? Yes. Uh, once uh, I realized that uh, something uh, very severe is going on, uh, I immediately reported in, uh, you know, took my uniform and ran to the field. And actually, for the last uh, 24 hours or more, I'm 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 there. Uh, it's it's a it's a very a critical scenario, something that we haven't. Seen. Yeah, he's muted himself. Yeah, he's. We were just being very careful because he's driving. So when you can put yourself back uh, on the mic, um, very carefully. Sorry. We we can hear you now. Please continue. I'm saying that uh, what I was witnessing it's uh, it's quite uh, horrified. It's uh, scenes that I haven't seen uh, from. From my experience uh, of 35 years, I, I haven't seen uh, such uh, massacres with the, with the cold blood, especially next to Kibbutz Reim, uh, where the, the party of the youngsters uh, took place. And uh, also the systematic killing uh, that took place in the Kibbutzim, uh, uh, it's 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 really the worst kind of terror. Uh, it's it's really killing in 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 cold blood. We've seen uh, you know hostages. They were uh, tied or coughed when the, with you know some plastic uh, uh, elements and and were shot dead. Uh, so, yeah, it is uh, something that I think we haven't uh, witnessed and we didn't have such a worst case scenario in our mind. And uh, I think that today we are we are getting uh, better control. It's not over yet. There are still some uh, terrorists, uh, you know, around. Uh, we are not sure in a hundred percent that all the settlements, all the kibbutzim there are clean, but uh, it's it's pretty close to that. Okay, thank you very much for that. Uh, one journalist is asking uh, why it took so long to to respond. I'm sure that you have some more insight about that. Oh, correct. It's a it's a it's a good question. And it should be learned and investigated. Uh, I think that uh, partially is that uh, a lot of the IDF forces are deployed in other places, like in uh, Judea and Samaria. Uh, the second thing is that uh, it was a complete surprise. Uh, we're caught in a complete surprise uh, without uh, knowing or even having uh, a clue that uh, it's, it's about to happen and such a massive attack. So basically, it 
took time to, to reorganize the, the forces and bring them down. And yeah, the, the situation was that the civilians for many hours yesterday were, uh, you know, closed in, in their uh, uh, homes and waiting for the IDF that uh, didn't come for very long hours. But it's not, ex it's Sorry, not acceptable. Ahead. It's something that we'll have to to. What, one second. We might be able to help you with unmuting it so that you don't endanger yourself while driving. But go over your last sentence. I'm saying that uh, being uh, so late, it's something that uh, it's not acceptable and we will have to learn and to acquire that uh, very closely in order to improve that performance. This is something that uh, cannot happen. Thank you for that. Uh, one journalist is asking uh, whether the evacuation of communities around the Gaza border is uh, indication of an upcoming ground invasion. First of all, uh, it's to secure the population. Uh, as we uh, uh, we still find, uh, for example, today I've been in the area of uh, Beiri. Just around us, there were at least uh, six or seven, I um, don't recall, uh, some small terrorist groups that were still in the area, still present there, and still active. Uh, so you cannot just uh, keep the population there. It's uh, it's 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 too risky for them, and too problematic for the IDF to operate, uh, knowing that the uh, uh, hostages uh, scenario could happen again. So the other issue is yes, uh, of course, uh, you know, uh, taking control uh, over the area will not be the end of the. Of, of the story. This is only chapter one. Uh, Israel has to, to retaliate, has to respond. And uh, as we all heard the, the prime minister, uh, I believe that uh, a massive uh, attack, counter attack is going to take place. Uh, with regards to a massive counterattack, how is uh, the military taking into consideration the the, ma the mass amounts of uh, Israeli abducted individuals within the Strip? How is this impacting the strategy in terms of fighting back? Well, uh, it is a problem, of course, but uh, we'll, we'll have to do both. Uh, on one hand, you know, uh, dealing with the aspect of... Uh, Having those hostages and and doing the maximum to to uh, to to rescue them or to release them. On the other hand, we'll have to operate against the Hamas as as we don't have uh, such amount of uh, hostages because uh, it's not an option uh, to to let Hamas go free with uh, such a uh, such an attack. You know, on Israel that really. Uh, impacted the, the 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 deterrence of Israel, impacted the moral of Israel. It's a very big story. It's not a small story that Israel can, you know, uh, continue just with a with few uh, air attacks or something of uh, small retaliation. I, I don't think this is an option. So what are the options that you believe uh, lay before Israel in that case? Well, it's on the table now. Uh, personally, I believe that uh, Israel has to do everything uh, to 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 destroy completely the Hamas. Uh, you know, uh, we we all just uh, uh, commemorate the 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 seventy three war yeah, against uh, Egypt, but. And there is a lot to compare, uh, although there are a lot of differences. But of course, that when you fight a, a country which has some rules 
and you can, you know, move from a war to a peace, as it happened with the with Egypt. Okay, you have to sometimes, you know, to 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 suffocate, to swallow, you know, uh, when when they succeed to punch you. But it's not the case with the with the Hamas. It's it's absolutely a terror with no moral. We saw who they are taking as hostages. You know, uh, old women, kids. It's it's they act like animals. So how how can you make peace with with the terror organization that claims to be, you know, uh, a, a government in 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 Gaza? This is not possible. And uh, I think uh, Israel will have to 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 face that decision. And and to my opinion, personal opinion, we'll have to take it uh, very far. It seems that the general consensus among experts over the last 24 hours has been to, to, to push back harder than ever before because this really is unprecedented. What does that mean in terms of um, maintaining uh, a lower number of civilian casualties on the Palestinian side? The IDF has, are, has always uh, you know taken pride in its ability and its its attempts to keep these numbers low, is this possible given the certain the, this specific situation? Okay, there is no war without uh, casualties and without the price. The IDF uh, is a very moral and valuable uh, army, so we are not going to change the 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 instructions uh, just you know for for that we we're going to do our best that civilians will not be damaged but uh, if it's going to be hard there's no doubt that uh, especially crowded area one of the most crowded areas in the world uh, like Gaza uh, there might be some consequences for that uh, for for civilians over there. Do you think that um, this next stage of the war could change anything in terms of the support, the widespread global support Israel has received from international leaders over the last twenty four hours, who most of whom have all condemned uh, the Palestinians for 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 these attacks? Do you think that support for Israel could change in light of its retaliation? I don't think so. I think it's appropriate to, to do so, but uh, it, it's, it's not an option to restrain Israel from, uh, from retaliate. I don't, I don't see that happens. Uh, look, we are in the Middle East, and Israel has to to maintain its uh, uh, superpower position militarily and uh, political military position. And uh, to get such a punch, uh, taking over Israeli settlements, uh, it's kind of a open invitation tomorrow for the Hezbollah and anybody else uh, next in, in the next opportunity to you know to to take that opportunity. And uh, is a very is a very small country, very fragile. We live actually we exist on our deterrence. So deterrence is not about niceties and, and, and politics. It's, it's, it's being very strong. So I don't think we have an option not, not to do something extraordinary strong against the Hamas. Uh, just I, I know that we've uh, used a lot of your time and there have been a flood of questions. So we're just going to pick the last few because uh, unfortunately we, we don't uh, have time for all of them. Uh, we, you know, we're, you're on your way. Uh, one journalist is asking about the Northern Front and if there's some kind of strategy uh, by the military to downplay things in the South so that uh, Hezbollah doesn't decide uh, to, to join. I'm not sure if there's some some connection, but what are your what are your thoughts in terms of the Northern border uh, uh, firing up, flaring up? No, it, yeah, it, it, it is an issue, of course. 
and and you know fighting uh, simultaneously in two fronts uh, it's possible the idf is actually structured uh, to do so but it's much less preferred and uh, once we we might face such a situation it will have to be very harsh in 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 our way of uh, action uh, because we cannot uh, because of the spread because of the the situation that we have to divide the forces uh, and still act very strongly it might take us to 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 kind of uh, overreacting if i may say so so our suggestion to the hezbollah okay maybe they need to pay some you know uh, tax to to the hamas by showing that uh, yes we identified with you but not to go further uh, they still remember what happened in the dachia uh, in beirut and I, I'm not sure that uh, it's a good time for them to go for second Dachia plus plus. That's a ve very clear. Um, we have a few questions about uh, about the the end game. Uh, what do you think is the best solution? Do you think that uh, the Gaza Strip needs to be occupied again? One journalist asking. Another journalist is asking if you think this is going to escalate into a regional war. Those are excellent questions, and actually they are so good because I'm not sure I have the answers for them. Uh, you know, in, in a way, Israeli Israel uh, policy was acting like like the Hamas is, you know, a government, although uh, they are more terror organization than government, but in a way of uh, helping them by, by you know, getting uh, donations of money, uh, helping with the, with the employment, uh, taking uh, workers to, 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 to Israel, uh, like 20,000 people, uh, help them with the infrastructure, with water, electricity. Uh, it's a lot of help from a government that should stand on its own feet. Uh, but of course, understanding that uh, it's not so simple to 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 control uh, Gaza, Israel was uh, was there. Maybe not in a hundred percent, but uh, in in a very meaningful way. But the decision that the Hamas took is absolutely non-governmental, non-political. Uh, they went all out on terror. So we have to act against them as, as, as terrorists, pure terrorists. And especially this issue with the hostages. If it was just the attack, okay, you, you may call it a, a, a military act. Okay. But what they have done with the, with the hostages uh, and, and knowing that our value for, for human life is different from what they see, and they know that it's a sensitive point in our culture. This is something that uh, brought us to to point of no return. Even if we don't have the answer, what will be the, the day after, as it was asked, rightfully asked? Are you able? So we to... have to do what we have to do. Are you able to provide us with the uh, numbers of uh, of hostages confirmed? Uh, people are really, you know, sh shooting at all uh, all figures, and uh, the the press is eager to the press. The people are eager to eager to know what the what the actual number is. No, with numbers uh, we have to be very careful. It's 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 big numbers. It's big numbers and but but I'm not the one it has to be very official said by the uh, uh, by the military or by the government so with your permission I, I will not do it but it's a it's a it's a very heavy price and very high numbers very high numbers yeah
Absolutely. I think at this point, uh, we'll let you go. We don't want to put you in any more danger that you're then you're already putting yourself in. Uh, thank you. Major General Salazar, really, thank you so much for your time. And, and uh, please uh, take care of yourself and uh, of uh, those around you. Thank you for the support. Thank you very much. Goodbye, everybody.